L-arginine, L-citrulline, these guys are touted as huge nitric oxide boosters. So do they actually help improve erections? I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and in today's video, we're going to review the science behind both L-arginine and L-citrulline and which one you should consider taking for erectile dysfunction. So let's talk about individual ingredients. I'm going to start with L-arginine. L-arginine is important because it is converted in the body to that chemical we talked about, nitric oxide, which is the ignition for erections. So when you take the L-arginine, it increases the availability of nitric oxide as well as the CGMP, which leads to improved erectile function. It then causes the blood vessels to open wider and increase blood flow. And interestingly, nitric oxide production is decreased in people who have injuries of those blood vessel cells or the vascular endothelium lining. And this is often caused by things like diabetes, heart disease, or atherosclerosis. And we find that people who have low levels of L-arginine or L-citrulline, which we're going to talk about later, have actually higher rates of erectile dysfunction. So L-arginine has actually been pretty extensively studied. There's been a meta-analysis of 10 randomized controlled trials looking at L-arginine, and they looked at a daily dose ranging from anywhere from 2.8 to 8 grams in men who have mild to moderate ED, and they saw that it improved erectile function compared to placebo. In a more recent randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial, they wanted to specify what happens if you have mild to moderate versus severe ED. So these guys took high doses of L-arginine for three months compared to placebo, and they took six grams divided up over the course of the day, three times a day with meals. And so they had 51 men who got the treatment versus 47 in the placebo group. So at 90 days, they saw, again, significant improvements in what we call the IIEF. Now, this is going to come up in a lot of the studies. The IIEF is the most commonly used questionnaire to assess erectile function. Now, it's been validated, which means that the score on this survey correlates with men's erectile function. And and so this is sort of the gold standard used most commonly across all these research studies. So it saw improvements in these scores, but it also saw improvements in peak systolic velocity, which is a measure of how quickly blood flows into the penis. And in fact, 24% of men who had no ED after they start, started taking the supplement, and those were usually men who had mild to moderate ED. Adverse effects were pretty low, meaning side effects. So headache, itching, and insomnia. And sometimes they had GI issues. So when reviewing this data, it seems that you need at least five grams a day. Six grams is, is probably the best. If you have abnormal nitric oxide metabolism, meaning that you have cardiovascular disease, diabetes, those sorts of things, you may see the most benefit in terms of taking something like this. Now, a couple cautions. If you have allergies or asthma, it actually can exacerbate your symptoms. So you want to avoid using this or use it carefully. It can also cause liver dysfunction and low blood pressure and might interact with other medications that you use for high blood pressure. Now, the big issue with L-arginine is that it has poor bioavailability, meaning that you gotta take it at least three times a day for it to work because your body breaks it down pretty quickly. However, this brings us to our next supplement, which is L-citrulline. So L-citrulline, is more bioavailable and it's converted into arginine in the kidneys. In fact, oral citrulline is better than oral arginine at increasing blood levels of arginine itself. And it results in a more sustained release of L-arginine and avoids the enzymes that are in the intestines and the liver. And there may be some data that L-citrulline encourages penile muscles to release what's called VEGF or vascular endothelial growth factor, which improves blood vessel function and may restore healthy blood vessel function in the penis. There's not as much robust data on L-citrulline, but in 2011, they recruited 24 adults with, again, mild to moderate, what they called reduction of penile rigidity. They could penetrate, but it wasn't satisfactory. So these are not guys who are having trouble getting an erection. They just have a weak erection. And they assessed their erectile hardness after taking one and a half grams of L-citrulline divided into two doses for a month. And they were actually their own control. So for the first month, they would take a placebo and then they would take L-citrulline. 
And they found that in the men who took L-citrulline, they saw an improvement, about half of them, in their erectile hardness score from three to four. However, 2% in the placebo group saw the same change. So it seems like L-citrulline could work, again, for men who have mild erectile dysfunction. Now, the good news is L-citrulline, again, is relatively safe and has few side effects. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to subscribe and share this channel with your friends. And as always, we're going to take care of yourself because you're worth it.